if I was running for president of the United States of America, I think I would come up with my own shit. Biden or Harris hasn't mentioned anything about tip wage workers, blue collar workers, white collar workers. It doesn't matter what kind of workers. The only thing they have mentioned is we getting ready to take more of your hard earned money and give it over to illegals. That's all they have mentioned, and that's what they have done. There's a difference. I've seen plenty of politicians talk about these wet dreams and think of it going smoothly and just going along the course. And then you got reality that sets in. Like, what in the hell are you doing? What are you thinking about? So you just show up three and a half years later and say you can solve everything? So why didn't Biden get the advice? Why didn't you tell Biden that you had the magic pen or the magic wand so you could just whisk it away? The reason why Democrats is on my page right now, and you'll notice that they're getting more and more silent. You don't see the continuous, you know, shenanigans of criticism, all that. I'll just hit them back with a fact. Leave it alone. Don't let that toxicity get into you because all it does is take a part of you. You can free them or they can still be enslaved, but truth is true. They watch Tulsi own camera. Every time you click on that link. Every time. And the person who needs to defend themselves isn't the audience or your defenders and all of them. They need something to defend. They need something to, you know, care around like a nuclear code that I don't want Kamala Harris to have. I'm like, she's incompetent. She let somebody take her mic away. Imagine if that was a terrorist or somebody. She would just give it up. Just give it up. I'm like... When you sign up for certain jobs and certain duties, there are certain things you have to do, even give your life for it. It's a matter of honor. And the way I've seen her come up through the ranks and stuff like that, that's not honor. That is just somebody who has been entitled the whole way. I know millions and millions and millions. Of, we watch this on documentaries that went the hard way. I listen to them. I listen to those men and women, like Jackie Robinson, Martin Luther King Jr. You know, people who went the hard way, really did. Before I worry about somebody who's going to copycat and pretend to be that way. But every time I'm praying, I see a real situation that ain't scripted. I see exactly what the reality is. And I hope people wake up because I'm not falling asleep. Anybody check out my resume. There's a reason why local, state, and federal respect me. It's because I haven't sold out to them because there needs to be a conscience of America. And there's so many Americans that represent that conscience no matter how much the media tries to silence you or censor it. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican. Well, I was fighting, I was fighting for you to always be able to speak your mind to government officials and not have it weaponized against you as you being the enemy when you are only there giving mere recommendations and suggestions and saying, this is where the problem's at. I expect you to be a leader to say, I'm not the problem, and explain why you're not the problem, and explain how you're going to fix it. It's as simple as that. See, somebody can say something about you, you have a right to defend, but when you can't defend yourself, I'm not here to be defending people when I got others that are suffering worse than you and don't have the resources that you do, and that's what Kamala has. And people need to recognize the fact that, hey, just because somebody talks like you, acts like you, pretends, hey, that's an actor. You don't need to act if you're black. You don't need to act if you're white. You don't need to act if you're poor or rich. Your character makes you rich. Your integrity makes you poor if you don't have none. Everything else, hey, the real gang, hey, we all may or may not have a funeral, but one thing about us, when we are gone, we are gone no matter what remains. What will stay here is what people remember about you. And what they're going to remember about me is, he spoke for us to have a voice, regardless of who we are, and not to have our voice get us indifferent or 
preferential treatment, except for the fact your voice may solve an answer, and I hope people take your answer compared to take your life. And that's how far we have gone in American politics, and that is as dangerous as it comes. And I'd rather somebody who's been through the danger and then turn around to jail than somebody who's never been in danger, just never seen when it comes. And I'd rather know who's fighting with me than who may or may not be with me. That's a deeper story. But trust me, you live that one, it doesn't take a war. All it takes is real life. God bless you and God bless America. Merle Rutherford, for Virginia Governor 2025. And that's why I'm voting for Trump, not Harris.